I'm filming a Disneyland Paris haul of all of the things that I'm looking at right now are currently filling my office um, because I haven't quite put them away yet so I thought I would show you everything that we got. So I've got lots of the 30th anniversary stuff, um, some things I haven't even opened yet because um, I wanted to share that first open with you particularly the 30th hand soap. Um, I've got some of the things for our giveaway and lots of things that I bought at the time, presents, keepsakes, that kind of thing I thought I'd show you. Okay, so the very first thing that I wanted to show you was my 30th spirit jersey. It's um, absolutely beautiful. Um, it's got, um, on the sleeves, it's got the 30th years of magic. That looks really nice in some of the pictures um, where you like, you've got your hands out and things like that. Um, and it says the same on the other side as well. Um, and then the 30th logo, there you are, looks really pretty. And the back, I think, is the best piece of it um, because it's got all of the different bits of uh, Disneyland Paris, all the bits that make it special. So you've got Tinkerbell and the castle. Then you've got, I hope you can see this, but this bit is um, the Haunted Mansion, well, Phantom Manor with the um, ghosts, then you've got the dragon for the S, um, the N is Big Thunder Mountain, then you've got um, It's a Small Word for the E, then you've got the, um, oh gosh, it's Star Wars, one of the Star Wars ships for the Y, the Orbitron for the L, um, I think this is the um, Adventureland walkthrough ent entrance, uh, if you're walking from the um, castle towards into Adventureland. Um, then you've got um, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean for the N. And then the D is Indiana Jones. And I love it because it's quite, um, it almost, it's all, almost quite puffy. Uh, so it stands out really nicely. Um, but I absolutely love mine. Um, they're quite thin though. So I was wearing like a, like a, a like a sweater underneath mine because it was really cold. Um, but then I wanted to kind of wear that on top, obviously. Something which I absolutely caved in. I wasn't sure if I was gonna get it. I really wanted it because I'd seen them in Tokyo Disney was the 30th Mickey hand soap with the soap dispenser. Um, I couldn't resist. The uh, cast member in the shop said, what a great choice. Um, as soon as I picked it up, just to look at it, and I was like, fine. And it's grapefruit scent, which I love. Um, this was 15 euros, um, just so you know. Um, and you get um, the Mickey, Mickey pump, and you get the grapefruit soap. Um, haven't opened it yet, and I wanted to share that with you to start off with. So it looks like this, like you've got Minnie and Mickey and 30th and you've got the castle here as well and then on the back it tells it's got some instructions for you and on the top is your Mickey dispenser. Um, the cast member in the shop did say that it takes a few pumps um, for it to actually work properly so let's give it a go. we can make a Mickey hand. That's incredible. Um, if anyone knows of um, the refill, whatever the soap is called, how, like what type of soap it is to get this refilled because I'm never not having Mickey hand soap from now on. <laughs> right, all clean. Um, oh, my hands smell so good. They feel so soft. Anyway, let's move on. Um, the next 30th merch which I got were for the giveaway. Um, so I got the 
Mickey, mini ears, Mickey ears. Are they mini ears if they've got a bow? And they're Mickey ears if they don't. I'm a little bit stuck, so please let me know in the comments again. Mini ears if they've got a bow, right? Um, but these are so sparkly. Ay, oh, they're so pretty. Um, the only thing that I would have said in the shop was that um, the bows on some of them got damaged in transit. Um, and so I kind of spent a good five, ten minutes looking for a pair that weren't damaged. Um, <clears throat> but otherwise they're absolutely beautiful. And these were 23 euros if you'd like a pair of these. The next thing that I got was for the giveaway. It was the, uh, the Mickey um, 30th pin. Um, I got, I bought this one for the giveaway. And then I've got one for my lanyard, this one, the 30th with the, come on focus, there you are, the 30th with the dangly. It was just so pretty that I wanted one too, but I wanted the castle one. Um, these were the yellow um, colour pins so I'll pop the price here somewhere because I can't quite remember off the top of my head how much they were. They're actually quite heavy on your lanyard um, because they're quite chunky um, but they look really good on your lanyard. Okay if you watched the first vlog you'll know that I spent a good chunk of my day trying to find a lanyard and I eventually settled on this F inspired one. Um, these lanyards are really smooth, they're quite long, I found, but I'm incredibly small, so I don't know if that if it's me rather than the lanyard. Um, but it's got this lovely cloud design on it, and then it says Disneyland Paris on both sides. And then it's got this lovely picture of the Epp House on it. Um, but this design was everywhere in the parks. Um, I tried to look everywhere because I tried to find one that I loved, and I liked this one. Um, it was my favourite in the parks. Um, so I bought it on the first day and I needed it to keep my priority card, my infinity um, annual pass and my photo pass um, cards because I was always needing them so I was just in and out of my bag all the time and Al eventually got frustrated of doing it for me. Um, so I got a lanyard, it was just really helpful um, and useful to have on me all day and also you could put your pins on them. But in the end, I ended up getting a different one, which I didn't see anywhere in the parks. I actually found this in the Sequoia Lodge Hotel in the, in the gift shop, and it is Aurora. And it's absolutely beautiful, there's a little squirrel there. It's absolutely beautiful, I thought. Um, and I love Sleeping Beauty, and it's got the Disneyland Paris on there, and then, on the other side, if you flip it round, it's um, got this kind of design. So you've got the spinning wheels, the crown, flowers. I just thought it was so pretty. I saw it in the night of our first day and slept on it because I'd already bought one, um, but I couldn't resist. Um, so I got it in the morning. It comes with this little... Um, pin trading card it tells you all of the instructions on how to do disney pin trading um which was really helpful because i'd never done it before and then something which i had to get to go on to my lanyard um was this pin i saw it on um the dlp report and um, they put up all the pins for new pins for the month and i saw this in january and i absolutely loved it and I couldn't leave it there. It's this little Aurora pin. Um, just so cute. I think it was the animation Aurora pin. Um, it was just the absolute sweetest pin ever. So I had to get it because I, again, I love um, Sleeping Beauty, I love Aurora. So I had that one and the 30th pin. And then I bought a couple from um Primark before we went um just in case I didn't see any I liked so I got I put that one on as well and this one um because I was like oh, you know I didn't want to have just an empty lanyard so I took some with me anyway 
I absolutely love Marvel, so we had to go on the travel day to go and see the, hot the, the hotel in New York. We didn't stay, unfortunately, because it's super expensive. Um, but we did go and have some drinks and things like that, and I knew that I would come away with some kind of artwork from the hotel shop, um, but I didn't know what before we went. And I saw this and absolutely fell in love with it because it's an entire book of artwork um, from the Hotel New York because um, a lot of the pieces were made specifically for the hotel. Um, so this book was 25 euros and it has a photo, um, like big poster versions of the art um, from the hotel. Um, lots of different styles, lots of different artists. Um, our favourite is, uh, we're actually going to put it up on the wall, so this one is my favourite and then they've got Captain America in the same style, same artist and the Hulk in the same style, same artist and Captain uh, Marvel which um, is Al's favourite um, and I've already started taking these off to put up in the walls on our living, on the walls in our living room um, and the only thing though is that I'm really gutted that we couldn't get um, the almost like the group photo that they have um, up in the um, in the hotel lobby um, of the um, Avengers and they're all stood there looking down towards the kind of the, the looker of the art, I don't know what that's called, like almost like the camera lens. Um, and it reminds me of like a Justice style, a uh, Justice League style um, photo where they're all stood there looking down. Um, I know it's not, I know Justice League is DC, but um, it just reminded me of that. I also love this one. They've got some with like the borders as well. Let's say the Hotel New York. Um, and there's lots of different styles as well. Um, and it's got perforated edges so you can um, take them out and put them up. Um, I have like the Captain Marvel one slightly, but I'm hoping to fix it. Um, but yeah, I had to come away with this. Another thing which I was um and hour and about the whole time um, was getting a little shoulder pal. They had loads of different types. They had Grogu, they had uh, Groot, they had Ratat they had Remy, um, they had, I'm sure they had the fork from Toy Story as well, but then I couldn't resist getting little Pascal. So little Pascal, look how cute he is. This is his tail. Um, and it's a little smell. He comes with a little magnetic um, metal under sleeve thing um, and he's got like little um, magnets in here. You can't feel them um, but it kind of just snaps on like that. So you put this under your shirt and then you put Pascal on and he just kind of stays there and you can reposition him. You can put him on bags. I did see some when have him on um, a hat, um, on a set of Mickey ears as well that didn't have a bow. See, Mickey ears without the bow would be Mickey ears, right? Um, anyway, um, and it, the magnet's quite strong. He stayed there all day. Um, he um, had to go in the bag for hyperspace mounting because he didn't want to lose him. Then I got some presents from my cousin Lois, um, who I know is watching this. Um, she really wanted some Disneyland Paris things for her birthday, so I went a bit mad. Um, I got her this pencil, and it says Disneyland Paris on it. Is it the right way? That way? I'm not sure. Um, but I got her this. And then the thing which I saw all around the park, um, every single day were a set of ears for her. She loves unicorns and it's got like this sparkly um, coloured um, like netting almost at the back. And it's got a unicorn horn, it's got a bow and this bit I know she's going to love is that the ears are two way. So this way they can be pink and then this way they can be purple and she can decorate them however she wants. These were very popular in the park. Um, I can't wait to give these to her. I also got her her own little mini pin because I know she wears a, um, a lanyard to school and Minnie is in a unicorn onesie and I know she's absolutely going to die when she sees this. She's going to love it. I've also got her some sweets. Um, 
these were actually from um, the World of Disney shop in the Disney Village. I didn't see them anywhere else. Um, they're like little um, like chewy candies. Um, and they really weren't that expensive. And there's loads in there as well. And they've all got different designs on them. Uh, there's that one as well of mini. Um, but I just thought they were just so cute. And I hope they're really nice. When I give them to I'm going to ask for one. <laughs> and the last thing I got again from the world of Disney were these um, little seats. These little lollies. I thought they were just so cute. And great little presents to give to people too. A final present for my wonderful cousin is this um, Mickey bracelet. It's got like lots of little Mickeys um, on here, um, on like a piece of elastic, or multicoloured. Again, I didn't see this anywhere else except for in the World of Disney shop in the Disney Village. Um, I didn't see things like this or like the sweets and things like that. Maybe I just wasn't looking for them at the time. So there were quite a few really lovely postcards um, in the shops. We got one for our dear friend Libby um, and we were actually able to send that in Sequoia Lodge. They had like a little post box and they had stamps and you just said, you just asked them and they, they were able to give you a stamp and told you how to post and things like that. And it got to my friend Libby quite quickly. Um, I think it got there within a week, I'm not sure. Um, but she loved it. And then I got this one. Uh, of illuminations because can you see it there you are because um i am gonna make a little shadow box um of for our trip it's like a little sh it's like a deep um frame and this is gonna go in it i know we've got an engagement card um that we've got which is really lovely i'm gonna put that in there too um photos um that kind of thing i'm gonna pop all in this photo frame and I thought that this would go really lovely with it because we got engaged just after illuminations. This is actually the very first thing which I got at Disney Paris. I bought it on the travel day from one of the machines in the Disney Village. Um, it is the 30th anniversary coin. It's got Mickey on it, it's got the castle, it's got the 30th on it. And then on the back, um, it just says made in France 2022 and I thought that would be really cute in our little shadow box too. Okay so the next and final piece that we bought um, was again from the world of Disney shop in the Disney village um, because we were kicked out of Disney and Paris pretty much straight away on the last night um, I couldn't go into the shops on Main Street because they were all closed so we ended up going there for all of our gifts and things like that and I found this at Till. It's the map of Disneyland Paris and I absolutely love it but it is ginormous and I've only just managed to find a frame for it um, because I've bought um, multiple frames. I hope you can see that. Um, I will do a closer shot of it. I love this. It's really detailed and it's almost like an artist version of, of a map of Disneyland Paris. Phantom Manor has ghosts on it. You can see um, what all the streets are called. Um, one of my favourite bits is that Pirates of the Caribbean actually has um, its own little village. Instead of it being a show building, it looks like a village from Pirates of the Caribbean. And it's a small world. It has all of the different parts of the world that you can see in there. Along the river, it's not just a show building. Uh, there's actually a giant Cheshire cat in the maze. Um, I just, I, I absolutely love it. Um, it's so detailed and it's got everything on there. I'm going to put a little heart on Main Street um, where we got engaged right here. Um, and... Yeah, this is going to go up in here somewhere soon. You might be able to see that the characters at the top have um, some of their heads cut off. But that's better than the sides, where you can see that they've been completely cut off. Because it's a really awkward size um, map. It's about 99 by 65 centimetres. So unless I wanted to get a made-to-measure frame, um, I had to either get one that was slightly too, too small for it or slightly too big for the map. Um, so I went for slightly too small, but that's okay because you can still see most of the map. This is going to look so good up on the wall. And the map really wasn't expensive, it was something like three or four euros. 
So that concludes our Disneyland Paris haul. Al didn't really buy much because um, he's not as obsessed as me. Um, and um, he really wanted the Lion King spirit jersey. Um, he couldn't find his size anywhere. They didn't even have it, um, we asked a cast member, they didn't even have it on property in his size. Um, so we ended up not getting it. I think I'll have a look to see if I can get him something when I go back in the summer. My favorite things are definitely the spirit jersey and the map. Um, the spirit jersey is perfect because you can wear it all year round. Um, it's quite thin but then in the winter you can wear it and over the top of like a, like a thick jumpers and things like that and the map was probably one of my favorite things as well because it's going to go up on the wall a permanent feature in our home and it's just really pretty i can't wait to put it up along with the marvel artwork there isn't anything that i wish i had gotten um i'm really happy with all of the things that we did get i tried not to go overboard too much um even though I wanted to. Um, I think the things I got were just what I wanted, so I'm very happy. I am heading back to Disneyland Paris in the summer and I've got quite a few theme park stays booked for me and Al to go on uh, soon and I'm so excited to do them. Um, if you like this kind of content, hit the subscribe button and it'll come straight to your feed when it comes in. And if you want up-to-date information, follow us on our social media at Made for Adventures UK. And the only thing left to say is, I'll see you on the next adventure.